Hello everyone, I'm Cottrell Mack from the Memphis Tiger Network. As the Memphis women's basketball team took on JSU tonight, downing them 77-64 here Monday at the El Marone Fieldhouse. Memphis came out of the gate firing with buckets early from Pasana Hope, but the game would tighten up quickly as JSU led for most of the first half. With JSU leading by eight with 11 minutes left, Ariel Hearn gave the Tigers a spark, sinking two layups to pull Memphis within four, 22-18. With 7.20 left to play, Hearn then drained the three, pulling Memphis within one. Minutes later, Memphis embarked on a 9-0 run, kicked off on a layup by Bria Wilder Cochran, who accounted for five points during the run. The scoring onslaught gave the blue and gray a lead they would carry into the break. Hearn led Memphis in first half, scoring with 12 points, nailing 5 of 9 with two threes. In the second half, Memphis began to pull away, getting early points from Hope and Hearn to put the Tigers up 45-33 in the first three minutes of the second frame. Hearn continued to grow the Memphis lead, scoring 14 points in the second half and leading all scores with career-high 26 points in the game. Hope and Mariah Rouser also scored in double digits with each notching 11 points as Memphis picked up the win, 77-64. In all, Memphis was 29 of 55 from the floor, shooting 53%. I thought Ariel Hearn did have a, a very nice game tonight. I didn't like her first half. Mm -hmm. I thought she was taking quick shots, early shots, poor shots. And I thought in the second half she did a much better job of penetrating the basket, taking the shots that as they came to her. And one thing she did really well tonight, she ran first wave transition really well. And I think she had seven assists tonight, gave the ball up well in transition. You know, they threw some things at us that we haven't seen all year. And so it's a learning experience. And we have to look at it that way. We haven't seen a press all year long. Yeah. They're the first ones to press us. And it was a little bit of an unorthodox press. So you know, we didn't handle that particularly well. Um, they threw a zone at us the first time we've seen that for extended periods of time all year also so it gave us an opportunity we'll have lots of really great video but fact of the matter is we have you know our standards have to be higher than that for um for every game certainly jackson state no disrespect to jackson state they'll win some basketball games this year but you know i really thought we kind of played down and and we we just simply did not keep them away from the basket i'm curious to see a shot chart we probably have one in our hands here but I'm going to guess that in the first 30 minutes of the game, they maybe took four shots outside the lane. And that's really because we let them get there. And we can call it new rules or whatever we want to call it. But, you know, the fact of the matter is, is that some of it's attributed to the new rules and some of it is contributed to the fact that we didn't close out well and we didn't kick step well. We, did, we just flat didn't keep the ball in front of it. We made it too easy. 